Hey guys and welcome back to part 4 of our van build series. Really sorry it's been so long since part 3 to part 4. Um, we have been flat out finishing our build. So as you can see I'm in the van now. Um, it is a, our fully completed van build. Um, in this video though you're going to see just everything starting to come together. All the cabinetry being finished, Flynn's bed being installed and put in, um, the gas um, and hot water all getting hooked up. Um, I know we said we'd do a uh, electrical and plumbing rundown in part four, but we just didn't get around to it and things have been a bit crazy and we really want to make sure we get all the information together before we, um, you know, do a video on that. So in this video, you'll see the van really starting to come together. Um, next couple of videos, we will do the electrical rundown and then a full van tour. Um, so stay tuned. We hope you enjoy this video. We are just about to start grouting and tiling our splashback. These are the tiles that we've chosen. So the black honeycomb and we're going to do a white grout, which is really exciting. We're doing Sally's white grout and we have the adhesive here. We also have our tile cutter. It's pretty cold in Sydney today, so we will be doing it all from the inside of the the tiles are up and I've just put the grout in. I have zero idea how to tile and it looks awful so I hope it turns out well. Another rainy day in Sydney however it's all starting to come together in the van so that's our finished splashback. Uh, Cam's gonna put some trimming around the edges and the bottom and then he's building a little shelf for all our spices and miscellaneous items to go along the top there. Painting is all finished and the bed frame is in. So this is a fun little party in the back of the van in the garage so we're actually underneath the bed and Cam's are wiring the fridge in. Flint's helping. So we're just having a little party in the garage of the van. Is he helping <laughs> So this is the bed frame in. It's got a few scrap pieces of timber on the top that we're just about to put in. We've put these little secret holes in that will go underneath the mattress. As you can see down, down there. So on this side of the van, that'll be um, like dirty washing, laundry kind of chute. And there's another one under here and that'll be, that'll actually have a hang rack. So we can actually hang some of our clothes on hangers still. I'm in the process of finishing varnishing all of this beautiful wood paneling that Cam's put in. So I only got a couple more coats to go. Done the bulkhead here. And this wall that Cam's built in between the driver's compartment and the back of the van. And now we have water. Yay! So Cam's just filling the tanks at the moment, so it doesn't have a lot of pressure. So once that's done, we'll see how the pressure actually is. And then this is the filtered water for drinking which again will have more pressure once it's all finished. It's been a little bit of time since we've recorded. We've both just been flat out doing the finishing touches to the van. As you can see, we are really, really, really close to being done. Cam has installed the floor. So we actually picked up a single box of leftover house flooring on a local um, buy swap sell site. So it was about half an inch thick I believe so just extra insulation for the floor and so Cam's installed it and we're so happy with how it turn has turned out it just looks really really beautiful it's lovely and soft to stand on and he's actually done 
some beautiful timber edging around here. So this needs to clean now that he's finished, but I'm going to varnish just all this little timber trim that he's done around. Cam has also built all the drawers for the kitchen. So he's actually built them out of plywood um, because we weren't we were were going to build them out of the melamine, but we we're just a bit worried about the weight and we didn't want to add more than necessary. So there's four drawers on this side and three drawers on this side um, of the kitchen. So he's built them all just so beautifully. Um, we're just going to do a light coat of varnish and then he's actually going to get um, uh, from Bunnings, probably melamine to make the fronts of the kitchen cabinet here. And we've also finished our little kitchenette area. So we added a spice rack over the top here. Um, just to put on this side probably spices and a good place to store our phones. Um, just little knickknacks, that kind of thing. Finish grouting all the tiles. And Cam's actually installed a little extra light under here. But I don't know if it's turned on. No, it's not turned on at the moment. But that's a really nice um, little just extra bit of light to shine down at night if we want to, don't want to turn all the overhead lights on. Um, and we've also put this extra bit of timber trim in along the back here just to finish it off nicely. I've been doing all the upholstery in the van. I'm currently just about to finish the um, cushions for the lounge area, but I finished this little curtain here. So this is actually um, block out material. So I have a, I don't know if I'm gonna do, be able to do it with one hand. Hang on, let me just get it out. So this is the wall in between the cab and the rest of the van. So what I did is I've got blackout material and I have installed a bit of timber across the bottom and then Velcro along each side. So oh, it's very hard to do with one hand. You can see there. So what we'll do during the day and when we're driving is this will roll up as such, like this. So it will be completely tucked away um, and it holds in place with just a couple of poppers. Um, so it completely tucks away when we're driving. Um, but then at night it folds down, rolls down like this, gets all tucked in here nicely and you just secure the Velcro along each side from the inside of the cab and it completely blocks out all the light. Um, we'll show you a shot at night so you can't see. When we have all the lights on inside the van, you cannot see through this, which we're really, really happy about. Really small features that Cam's really good at, which I'm awful at, is just finishing things off nicely. So because of the wall in the van actually curves out here, the power points weren't sitting flush, so Cam just installed this leftover bit of the countertop just to make sure things like the uh, power points sat flush on the countertop. I just thought I'd quickly show you um, the difference in the depth of the drawers. So because we have, because of the wheel arches in both sides, both of the bottom drawers are, are quite shorter, significantly shorter as you can see than the drawers above but really, really deep. So we've got seven drawers in total, which I'm just about to varnish, um, but heaps and heaps and heaps of storage. So Cam has installed the drawers. So I'd finished varnishing all the outsides. And so now all our drawers are installed. We have four on this side. Again, these bottom ones, you can see they're shallower than the top ones because of the wheel bases. Got four on that side and three on this side where the kitchen is, but they're massive. Heaps and heaps of storage, which is great. We've also installed our mattress. So this is a full double mattress. Um, we thought we might have to kind of trim a bit off but we just squeezed it in and it fits really nicely and we can still keep the cover on so that fits perfectly which is exciting and it's really comfortable
<laughs> oh my god, Emma. Are you looking for me just to get proof of you being a horrible parent? <laughs> Yay! <gasps> what is it? Can I have a cuddle? <laughs> and so I finished making the covers for the windows. So we've got two back windows and then the sliding door window. Um, this was actually a really great tip that I got from some um, other YouTubers channels. So what we've got, we've got the reflectives, which we insulated the van with. So we had cut out pieces that fit each window. Um, and then I've covered one side with just some um, white fabric and the other side with some black fabric. And then I've actually sewn magnets all around the seams. So what happens is you just clip it in like this and that makes it completely stealth. And so at night, that blocks out all the light. There's We've had it every single light on inside the van um, with all the windows blacked out and you can't see a thing. So they work really well. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Just got to slightly um, tidy up the edges. But yeah, so we've got two for the back windows and one for the sliding door. And Cam has also finished this beautiful chopping board. So this is just um, the piece that was cut out so we could insert the sink. Um, Cam actually completely fit it and mounted it so that it can sit in the sink. So it's just an extra, like gives us heaps of extra preparation space. It's obviously every little bit counts in here. Now, just for safety reasons, we are gonna put a um, like stainless steel or an aluminium kind of L-shaped frame across this wood here, just so it protects it from the heat. I have finished the lounge upholstery. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Obviously, I am not a seamstress, so it's not completely perfect, but I'm really happy with how it's all turned out really happy with the look and the matching sunshade in the front. This is in the boot of our van and will be our garage of sorts. So Cam has finished lining all the walls, um, making the little interior areas. So we've got 240 and 12 volt down here. Um, that is a box covering the gas box and you can see the vents for the fridge and then the compressor down there. I'm now just gonna line the walls in some black carpet just to make it a bit cleaner and nicer. <laughs> Cam's cutting out the fronts of the kitchen drawers and doors. We actually got these big pieces of melamine to mount on the front. So he's cutting them all to size and then we'll fit them all inside the kitchen. This is one of the hidey holes under our mattress. You can see there's a hinge here. So I'm going to line all this and this will actually be to have some hanging clothes in there. Just doing a quick update on our drawers. It's a bit it's late at night so sorry about the lighting. So these are the melamine fronts that Cam has put onto the pine drawers that he made. So as you can see, he had to cut the melamine to fit the front. So what I've been doing is using this stuff that we got from uh, Bunnings in the melamine section, and it's literally a tape. So this is a piece I haven't trimmed yet. I'm not focusing. So that's a piece I haven't trimmed yet. So you literally just iron it on and then trim the edges. And then this is a trimmed one. So you can see, it looks almost perfect. There are a few imperfections, but really, really happy with how they're turning out. Just thought I'd show you the finished product of our drawers. So I've started packing. So the inside was made of the plywood, which I've varnished, and then the edges are made of melamine. And you can kind of see this is the finished result of that iron-on melamine stuff. So it's turned out pretty well and it's actually a, I think, a really good option 
so you don't have to get you know the fronts of all your cabinets custom made I also thought I'd show you this little sneaky drawer so this drawer here Cam has made with a lock on it so that we're able to actually store our laptops, passports, you know, valuables in here. Um, I'm going to line it with velvet so that nothing gets scratched, but it actually sits behind here so that when all the draw doors are shut, can't really see it's there. We've got all the door handles arriving this week. And then the kitchen will be completely finished. This is our garage all finished. So Cam's put some lino down. That is the box around the gas um, container. We've got the 240 and the 12 volt outlets. That's where the fridge is with just some ventilation. So the fridge has the remote compressor. So that second one is actually where the compressor is. Then in here, we also have a little light. So it's turned out into a really, really great space, which I'm sure will end up filling up pretty quickly. This is another great idea I saw on another Instagram account. Um, putting a doormat from, it was just from Ikea along here. Um, we haven't stuck ours down because it's just easy to be able to kind of take it off like that, shake it off and then put it back down. It's really heavy, so we don't actually think that we're gonna stick it down or anything but works really well so everyone can wipe their shoes before getting in the van. Excuse the mess on the back bed right now. I just wanted to show you this. So this is um, a leftover bit of the kitchen countertop that Cam had from when he actually cut out the gas cooktop. And we decided to varnish it and put it in here as a bit of a protection um, from the kitchen area to the bed. Um, water splash residue because that's where our pillows are going to go so that's turned out really nice another thing I thought I'd show you is Cam's actually installed the whole shower fitting and connection and he's also got this extendable shower rod to hang up in here just again great place to hang towels now He's also got that fun little hanging light. I don't know if we'll use it, but heaps of space in here. This is Flynn's bed starting to come together. So the way we've done it is I had a leftover offcut of the foam that I used for the couches. And then Cam's actually made this box to fit the foam. And then we've got these railings that have gone on it so it kind of looks like a tiny baby fight ring <laughs> but what's going to happen is it's going to be suspended from the ceiling and in between the ceiling and this top rail there's actually going to be mesh so we can't climb out or fall on us during the night it's looking so good we'll hopefully be able to suspend it today I'm just finishing up my last few little jobs. So this is going to be our drawer where we have all of our laptops and phones, cameras and everything that's kept with the lock on it. So I'm now just going to line it with some felt. One last thing I'm about to do is cut this in non-slip matting out. I'll just cut like one layer out and install it on our shelves up here and in our drawers just to stop everything sliding around when we're driving. Okay, excuse the mess, but I just thought I'd give you an update on Flynn's bed or the baby cage. So Cam's mounted these rails and I've varnished them and painted them. Just so I can show you in comparison to our bed. There's a puppy. So it's gonna hang from the ceiling there kind of be mounted across on the side. So one of my last jobs on the van is to cover these holes in the back uh, to stop little fingers going in them. Um, but also I guess just for a little bit more insulation. So I, um, I bought some vinyl from the shop and I'm just cutting it to shape. So you can see it here, it's a bit dark. It's a bit tricky um, and I'm just gonna perfectly fit it up into 
as best I can into against the roof. And I'll do both sides and along the top there. This is the finished bathroom. You can see our toilet in there. So we ended up going with a porta potty Komodo. Um, it's been working well so far. It's an emergency only toilet. <laughs> um, the showers are all hooked up, which again, we haven't used yet, but I'm sure we will. This is the shower curtain that Cam installed and we actually just have a little portable light in there, um, which works well. If we do have a shower in here, it is really easy and not very heavy at all to lift the toilet out. So that works really well for our purposes. And we just hang our towels over here when we're done with them. Another last minute feature that Cam's added is this wall, well, like sealant that goes all around the edge of the door. And then he's also put it all on the inside of the door frame here. So it's actually so, so, sealed and it just means that when you're in there there's absolutely no way that any water is going to get out this is Flynn's finished bed so on about 98% finished so we did the wooden structure we've got the mattress in there we've got obviously a mattress protector and sheets that I custom made um, and then this wire system is what Cam has used to kind of secure it so he's got the crosses on the three sides and it is really, really secure. Flynn doesn't move around that much. Um, and so I made these kind of netting sides up here just to stop Flynn either falling out, um, but also stop him pulling on the wires when he's in bed. And this part on this side just folds up and Velcros in place. Um, we didn't, Oh, it's very hard to do with one hand. So it just Velcro's in place down each side. Like that. We didn't want something on the front that was um, permanent. Um, because we know that we're never going to leave him in bed. You know, we're never going to be more than two metres away from him. Um, and it works really well with the Velcro because it means if he starts pushing on it, we can actually hear it. He's really loved it so far and it's working really well. The other thing Cam's actually designed it to do is at all four of these um, points, it can actually unclip and come off really easily. So if we did want to completely remove the bed, if we were going away for a while, like a week or so without Flynn, um, we can completely remove the baby bed from the van. Another thing I am really appreciating um, since moving in is this drawer that can specifically design for our laptops and stuff like that. It's just so good to actually have a place to put our laptops, our phones and our iPads and everything like that. Um, stops them getting left around the van for Flynn to destroy. Obviously it also has the lock on there for when we are on the road. This was a, another addition um, that we kind of put on last minute. So to get our gas hooked up, we have to, in Australia, it has to be done by a certified uh, plumber or gas certifier. So um, because we had this wooden trim along the back here, it was just the distance to the um, cooktop was just too close. So Cam's put this piece of stainless steel on there just to protect it so much for watching guys um, as always feel free to ask any questions below on any part of this van build or the whole series and we'll get back to you as soon as we can um, we are about to set out on our trip around Australia so um, we're really excited and we are going to be um, endeavoring to release at least one video um, a week um, and we'll be releasing them on Mondays so all about our um, you know life on the road as a family with a baby um, just how it works in the van and what our expenses end up being. We've got lots of really cool ideas and content that we're looking forward to releasing. Um, so yes, yeah, stay tuned. Give us a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you are yeah, informed for when the next video comes out. We'll see you soon.